What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to make your Windows PC faster because let me guess, you actually got a new computer like a few years ago and uh, over the time it uh, it got slow and it, uh, you are barely able to you know run your applications on your computer. Uh, well, it happens with everyone and uh, the reason for that is, the, is how we use our computers. So I'm going to tell you a few steps and if you do all the steps one by one, I, I'm sure you would be able to increase the performance of your computer and make it faster. So let me jump on to my computer and I'll show you how you can do it. So in this video, I have 9 tips for you and if you follow all the tips one by one, I'm sure this video will definitely help you. So the tip number one is actually disabling your startup programs. So startup programs are actually the programs that get started automatically when you um, start your computer and in order to see them, just uh, open your task manager and head on to the startup tab. You will see there are like a lot of applications that get started with the computer whenever you turn it on. So uh, I have already you know sorted them by the status and as you can see I only have like uh, maybe 5 applications that, that are enabled to be started with a computer boot up. But other than that I have disabled all other apps that I don't need to be started automatically. It doesn't mean that the apps will not be functioning properly. It just means that it will not be uh, started automatically. You can start them anytime manually. So just go through the list one by one and uh, select any app that you want to disable. Uh, let's take, uh, let's say um, Nvidia on this one and just right click and hit the disable button. I'm not gonna do that in this video because these are important, uh, important applications. Tip number two is actually deleting your temporary files and uninstalling your unwanted software for the better performance of your computer. That is right, my friends. If you keep deleting your temporary files and also, you know, like uninstall all the programs that you do not need, your, your computer will actually perform better. And how you can do that? Go to your Windows button, uh, just type run, hit the enter button. And here you can just type TEMP, hit enter, and uh, you can see like uh, you know it will it will actually open the, the Windows temp location for your computer, and uh, just select Control A and hit the delete button to send all the files to recycle bin. Um, there might be some files that you know are not deletable, which is fine. Just click the skip button and uh, repeat the step for the next item called percentage temp. So we're going to do percentage temp percentage. This is a different location. This is a local temp location and uh, you just need to do the same thing. Control A and hit the delete button. And there would be some files again that are not deletable. So skip and you should be fine. Next is uh, uninstalling your uninstalling unwanted programs from your computer. So go to windows and start typing add or remove. And that's the option we are interested in. Open that. Here you will see uh, they're like you know all the software that are installed on my computer. Go through the list one by one and uh, uninstall the program that you do not need or do not plan to need because deleting your temporary files and uninstalling your software, the, pr the programs that you do not need will actually help your computer to perform better. And how you can do that is just click the software and hit the uninstall button. Tip number three, disabling the services that are uh, started with your computer. Similar to the startup programs that we disabled in step number one, there are services that uh, are also started automatically when computer starts and we should be disabling the services that we do not need. And how we can do that is simple, just go to windows and start typing services and uh, you know this is the app we are talking about hit that button and you will see that it actually opens the services uh, location for your for your computer i've actually sorted that list by you know status so you can see these are all the services that are currently running so we are only in interested in the services that are running and uh, this is a very important step i would advise you to go through the list one by one and only disable those services that, that you are sure that you do not need. Because there are like a lot of services that you are not sure and probably are used by Windows for the performance of your computer. And uh, if you disable one of those services, your computer will probably will not boot. 
let's say I'm gonna pick uh, this service called Adobe Update Service. As you can see, this is a service that uh, Adobe uh, Acrobat probably uses to update the services. This is probably fine if you do not want the auto update feature of the of the program and how you can disable it is uh, just right click on that go to properties and change the startup type from automatic to manual what this means is actually instead of uh, automatically starting the service every time your computer boots the the service will actually start only when you run the program not when when your computer is started once you're done hit the apply button and that is it Step number four, defragmentation. This is also an important step because over the time performance of your hard disk actually degrades. So what you need to do, just go to your PC folder, right click on any of the drive, go to properties, click on tools, and then you will see there's a button called optimize and defragment drive. Click on optimize. You will see that my C drive is actually 2% fragmented. This means only 2% of my C drive has data scattered all over the disk and by defragmenting what we do we actually you know compress that data just to stick together so that you know we can the hard disk can perform better when you decide to defragment the drive click on optimize button and your uh, drive will start defragmenting right there like that so um, i'm gonna leave it like that and move on to my next tip tip number five disabling background apps that is correct there are some apps that are running in background that are consuming a lot of memory. Go to Windows, start typing background apps. And uh, you know, that is, a, that is the setting that we are interested in. Click on that. And these are all the apps that are actually enabled for me and are running in background. Let's say Xbox. You know, I do not have, I do not own an Xbox right now. So, you know, it's, it's very safe for me to uh, turn this service off and uh, you know like um, all those services that I probably do not need and you know I don't want the computer to actually perform tasks for maintaining those services in, in background these apps in the background so you just go through the list one by one and disable all this all the apps that you do not need step number six is actually keeping your computer up to date because there are some performance updates that are posted you know every once in a while by Microsoft or you know by even other vendors so it's actually very uh, important to keep your computer configuration up to date and how you can do that is go to windows updates so start typing update and in the settings you will see windows update settings click on that and um, on top you can see windows is up, up to date for me and if it's not for you click on check for updates button and let, and let your computer install all the necessary updates for your PC. Tip number seven is uh, very important if you have a laptop. Maybe not so important if you have a desktop, but it's called power options. So as you can see, I'm currently on my laptop. This is my battery. I'm going to right click on that and click on power options. Currently, you can see I only have one power setting for me, which means it, it's kind of it, it's kind of balanced between saving battery and performing better but you probably would have like more than one power setting in your computer and if you like you can move on to the next level which is like high performance uh, although uh, keep in mind your battery will probably suffer however your performance will be improved drastically well until now uh, i was able to give you like seven tips and i'm sure that, uh, if you do all those tips one by one you would have actually improved the performance of your computer However, there are like two more tips, which are, you know, which I say are like, uh, you know, last options because if your computer is still not performing better, even after doing those seven tips, you, you can actually try the eighth tip that I have, which is to format your computer and reinstall a clean copy of Windows. This may not be very feasible for most of you because, you know, it actually requires your backing up your computer, computer data because, you know, it's a very good idea to back up your data before doing a format and uh, you know it, it will take a lot of time and uh, if you are ready to do that and you know if none of those tips work for you formatting and reinstalling windows like a clean copy will definitely help you and tip number nine is actually upgrading your hardware because over the time our requirements for performance actually increases we install a lot of software, a lot of things, applications that that require you know high performance like Photoshop 
or you know other or play some games that require high high pc performance so upgrading a pc uh, keep in mind that's only applicable for desktop upgrading a pc may be a better option like upgrading your ram or even like switching to ssd because uh, ssd is a like you know high performance drive that drastically improves the performance of a overall regular drive well these are my nine tips and I'm sure if you do do these tips one by one, you will you should be able to improve the performance of your computer, make it faster. And this is pretty much it from this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, I'll see you in my next video.